Judith Vala, and I'm going to be talking about the London riots again. Uh, I know I kind of broke down last night when I was talking about it. Um, I'm kind of an emotional person. So when it comes to things like this where people act out and for no reason at all, and they cause harm to other people, it hurts me. And even talking about it now, I mean, just thinking about it makes me upset. Uh, a little while ago, I read an article about a man who had lost his son in one of the riots this morning. In the article, it says that he saw three people hurt by a car and he ran over there to see if they were okay and he started helping them. And someone calls him and he turns around and his son, his 21-year-old son, is his 21-year-old son is laying there and he tries to do CPR. that he couldn't save him. He couldn't save his son because his son tried to stop people from looting in the town. People don't know how that feels. I mean, I don't even know how it feels to lose someone you truly care about to, to something like that, but I know that if it had happened to me, if it had been my child, then I would be heartbroken. I mean, I'm barely 20 myself right now. And just thinking about this young man who lost his life because he was trying to do he was trying to stop people from destroying, from being cruel. Another thing I saw was a video. I'll post a link to it down below so you can see. Um, a boy. Um, he had been hurt and injured and he was just sitting there on the street and in the video it looks like people are helping him up because they're concerned and while they're helping him up they they he's confused he's he looks lost in his face and looks but and while they're helping him up they go through his bag and some they steal his things he looks like a college student or a university student or something and he had been hurt during the riots and then these people just go and take advantage of his vulnerability and steal from him I mean what kind of human being does that seriously my heart is aching for that country right now. And I'm afraid that things like that will happen here in America. I don't... I can just pray. I put my faith in God and pray that it won't. And I pray for the people in Europe, in London, wherever the riots are taking place, everywhere they're taking place. I pray for their protection. I pray for them to be safe. And 
You should too. I mean, what if you had family there? We're all human beings. We are a family. I mean, we're all like siblings. We fight. We make trouble. But that doesn't mean that it's right. That doesn't mean we can hurt other people. It's wrong. And it affects the entire world, even if it's just in one place. <laughs>